Welcome back to Africa 54. It's time now for our Thursday health report. And joining us now is Africa 54 health correspondent Lino Madu with a heartwarming story about an advocate for the polio vaccination. Lino. Hello, Vincent. Experts and advocates worldwide are fighting to ensure that polio, which often can cause permanent paralysis, is finally eradicated globally. The highly infectious viral disease has no cure and can only be prevented by immunization. Paralympic champion Dennis Ogbe contracted polio at the age of three while in the hospital for malaria. He has made it his mission to advocate for the importance of vaccines and contribute to the final push in ending polio once and for all. Um, it's very important for me, one, because I'm a survivor and I was one of the very few ones that I can consider myself a survivor and doing something actually to help to take care of that aspect of it. And then the second aspect is that here in the U.S., most times um, um, diseases such as polio is, have been eradicated long time ago. So when you talk about polio, people still ask, especially the younger generation, that, hey, what's polio? And I'm here to advocate that polio still exists. Polio is still real. I'm a living example. And we have to look at those children back in Africa and a lot of developing com countries that are still being affected by this disease. Now, there are very few countries uh, today that are polio endemic. Nigeria is one of the African countries, if not the only African country, yeah. that remain polio endemic over the years. When you look at the history behind it, at some point there was a controversy where some leaders did not want to vaccinate the population. Do you go back to Nigeria and talk to people? Do you advocate on the ground in Nigeria? or? Do you work here in the United States hoping that some of the work that you do here will have a positive impact uh, in your country? Yes, that's what I'm doing. I, I'm here right now. and Some of the works I'm doing now is going to have a positive impact back at home. And one of the challenges I know that um, we still have, it was there back then, is the educational, the awareness piece of it. Um, on the forefront, like in the north, that's where it's, um, what can I say, it's predominantly in the north and mostly it's lack of education and some of the religious beliefs to like counter that. Today you are a Paralympian champion. You've won many, many trophies. What was the turning point? When did you go from being a polio survivor, perhaps feeling sorry for yourself, to participating in sports competition and winning actually? I think it started from my house. Um, I'm one of 11 siblings from one mother, one father. So that is the, com the competition started right there. Th that push came from when I want to play with my peers and sometimes some of them seize my crutches because if I don't want to use a wheelchair and I want to like stand, they seize my crutches and dare me to take couple steps. So by so doing that, I take one, two steps, fall down with bruises. But then while I was doing that, my right leg was getting a little bit stronger. Those are the kind of things I was doing that was keeping me very competitive in what I do. And then I went into sports. I tried soccer, I tried soccer, of course I cannot run. So what I do is I man the post. So I used to be the goalkeeper. And most times, because of my disability, um, most of my competitors say, oh, they just kick the ball towards Dennis' bad side and he won't be able to stop it. But with time, I perfected that. So if you think I have a disadvantage to my left and you kick the ball there, you'll be surprised that I will catch it. When we look at uh, the whole issue of vaccination. Some people are still very reluctant to vaccinate their children. We've seen uh, recently here in the United States there was a missiles outbreak and some parents spoke out and said they don't want to vaccinate their children. Now what do you say to these parents? Each parents have what they want for their own children so you can't force anybody especially here in the U.S. but they should try and look beyond what they, they believe and read more and then see people like us and do more research around, they'll see that um, those vaccinations save a lot of life. Those vaccinations is something that will either make you or mar you. What keeps you going today? Well, I believe um, God has blessed me so much and took me out of that poverty and put me where I am that I can use my voice to educate people one and show people where I've come from, where I am today. And I know that I'm not taking all the glory. A lot of people have um, help me in the course of my life to be where I am today, that hopefully we can advocate and we're going to get more resources, especially to Nigeria, to end polio once and for all. Um, Short at Life through United Nations and Rotary Club and a lot of clubs have done a lot of things towards that. But right now, 
Um, we just have that last push to make sure we eradicate um, polio once and for all. What a story there. While Dennis Ogbe has participated in the Paralympic Games twice for Nigeria, since moving in the United States, he has won several gold medals in discus and shot put throw. He was a member of the American Paralympic team for the 2012 London Games. And that's our Africa Health Report for today. Back to you, Vincent. Well, Leno, thanks a lot for sharing with us. And be sure to watch Leno Mudu's Health Reports every Tuesday and Thursday right here in Africa 54.